Origin Center has been closed for almost 13 months due to the pandemic, but it was not tools down. We have been working in the background. We've had a lot of renovations at Origins in the last six months. Whole museum just feels a bit enlivened. It's really, really nice to just have this space just given another boost on life. We've relit the museum, we've reworked the narrative, and we've been able to do this through the support of the National Institute for Humanities and Social Sciences. We have changed a lot of content and uh, we have uh, improved the content as well. We have changed uh, the historic information with the most current of information. It's really a renewal of the Origin Centre. The, the centre was established 15 years ago. We now today are at the, at the cusp of reopening to the public and really showing the new ideas that we have around Origins. We have a new exhibit in the entrance of the museum which is talking about the origins of, of when we became human and uh, looking at the beautiful progression of stone tools and the origins of technology and we have donations from the French Institute and the French Embassy of engraved ostrich eggshells. Of course origins is not just about housing artifacts and, and admiring that and, 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 and looking at that but it's, it's the interpretation, it's the understandings, it's the, it's the storytelling around, around those, those objects. Origins is a museum as well as an art gallery. There's a, and this amazing mix between the, the rich heritage that South Africa has and embracing and celebrating our past, but then also using um, the artworks from contemporary artists to illustrate that past. What we want to do is to create a place which hears and appreciates different voices. The voices of poets, the voices of artists and various people who will help you to see science in a different way. I have begun to think of this much more as a research-led centre, one where the research is, is of paramount importance and the development of postgraduate students as well. In this way the Origin Centre gets much more integrated into the workings of the Faculty of Science. People are often taken aback when I tell them that Origins is in the science faculty. And the reason for this is they recognise that it's quite bold for the science faculty to allow itself to be examined and allow itself to be questioned. Origins is also grappling with new technologies and one of those is augmented reality. And I would love for everybody to come down and to play around and see these beautifully engraved animals in the rocks, but also play around with augmented reality and see the animals come to life. And now we are excited to announce that we are officially open from the 9th of April. So please, do come to the space and visit us. I'd encourage people to, to come and visit this amazing space. It's not just a museum, it really is, is more.